Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're gonna be talking about powers and specifically powers and exponents. All right, this is really, really important stuff in any course. Uh, doesn't have to be algebra. It can just be just basic mathematics, right? You need to understand what is a power, but we're gonna take a look at this problem right here. We have 2x times 2x times 2x times 2x. How, uh, how can we write this as a power? So if you know the answer to this question, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. Then of course, I'm gonna fully explain uh, this problem and we'll do a quick review of powers and exponents. Uh, also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer here. We have 2x times 2x times 2x times 2x. How can we write this as a power? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer right now. We can write this as 2x to the fourth power. So that is the answer. Now, there is a, another uh, version though, of this um, uh, answer, okay, but to get that version, you need to have gotten this version, but if you got this right, that is outstanding. Let's give you a nice little happy face and A plus, A 100%, and a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that you know a thing or two about powers and exponents, and they might tell you, wow, you are a math genius, and if uh, they ever need some math tutoring, they just might call you up. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. Now, really the question here is, what is a power? Okay, well, let's talk about this. And of course, we're talking about a power with respect to the definition, um, the term or the word power in uh, mathematics. I'm not like a superpower country or this person's powerful. You know, this, you know, of course, words have different meanings, but in mathematics, what is a power? Well, let's take a look at some examples. So we uh, use powers to represent. Um, the product of things that are being multiplied by themselves more than once. Okay, so what am I talking about? Let's let's take a look at this. So let's say I have three times three. Okay, well, three times three, well, I'm having three, it's multiplied by itself. So anytime you have a, a number or a variable um, being multiplied by itself more than once, you can use a power, uh, power notation to kind of, as a shortcut, to um, you know, write what's going on here. So three times three, we can write as three squared. All right, now hopefully most of you know this. And the way uh, we write a power is we need to look at what's being multiplied. So in this case, three is being multiplied by itself, all right? So what's being multiplied? Well, three is. That's gonna be the bigger number. It's gonna be at the bottom here, all right? So if you notice uh, this, and uh, when I write this power, we have a big number and a small number. Now, I'm not, uh, you know, distorting this, you know, on accident. So in other words, I'm, I'm writing like three and then a two like that. Uh, it's specifically a three and a, and a smaller two, okay? We call this a superscript in mathematics, but, you know, this is right here, uh, what we refer to as exponent. I'll get to that in one second. But just so you, you know, you know, like, yeah, that's a small two. This is a bigger number. This big number down here, is what we call the base. It represents the thing that we're uh, multiplying, okay? So that's the base, and then this two represents how many times we're multiplying uh, by, uh, how many times this number or thing is being multiplied by itself. So here you can see we're multiplying three by itself two times, okay? One and two, so that little two up there is what we call the exponent, all right? So the parts of a power, is a base, and that little number up there is called the exponent. The entire thing is a power. So three times three is equal to uh, three to the second power. Even though we say three to the second power, uh, we don't say three to the second exponent, we say three to the second power, but that little two is the exponent, and that big number down there is the base. Now this is important terminology to know, because in algebra and in mathematics, when you really study uh, the properties of powers and exponents, you need to understand uh, these terms and parts of a power. So a super easy example, but let's go ahead and see how 
uh, this same concept applies with variables, okay? And it, uh, there's no difference. So here I have x times x times x times x. So it's the same thing being multiplied by itself four times, right? So here's four times. Uh, so what's being multiplied? X is being multiplied. So X is my base. And how many times is X being multiplied by itself? Uh, four times. So X times X times X times X is X to the fourth power. Okay. Now, before I continue, I want to make another uh, kind of um, observation with that when you are talking about powers uh, or products of the same thing, there's two different kind of descriptions here. This is what we would call power form, and this is what we would call expanded form. So if I said, uh, write x to the fourth in expanded form, it would be like, oh, okay, they want me to kind of, you know, take this and write it out the long way, x times x times x times x, or three squared, write that in expanded form. Oh, you want me to write three times three. Okay, so just kind of be aware of that uh, nomenclature as well. All right, so let's take a look at another example. So now this one may not be as obvious, but look here, we have y minus three times y minus three. Again, it's the same thing being multiplied by itself. So y minus three times y minus three times y minus three. So we can write this as y minus three to the third power, okay? Y minus three is the base and the exponent is three, okay? So it doesn't make a difference, um, you know, what you're multiplying by, if it's repeating, right, like a triangle times a triangle times a triangle is going to be triangle cubed. All right. Okay. So hopefully that's clear enough. And now let's go ahead and get into our actual problem here. Okay. So here, uh, you know, we have 2x times 2x times 2x times 2x. Well, what's being multiplied uh, by itself over and over again? Of course, it's 2x. How many times is it being multiplied? four times. So 2x times 2x times 2x times 2x is equal to 2x to the fourth power. Now, I said there was another um, way you could express this answer. This is correct, but this is also correct right here. And if you wrote uh, 16x to the fourth, you also get a nice little happy face. So great job. Okay, matter of fact, I might even give you an A++ because it shows that you understand some properties of powers and exponents. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at one. Now, this is not going to be a formal uh, kind of lesson on this by no means because there's, you know, more than just one property of exponents. But basically, we have a property that states that here we have 2x to the fourth power. Now, what you can do right here, this two, this is really, let me kind of write this bigger. This two is really like two to the first power. Two to the first power is two, okay? X is really like X to the first power, all right? I'm kind of making this really big here. And then I have this four as my exponent. So what you can do in algebra is you can take this outside exponent and multiply it uh, into the inside exponents, okay? So for example, if I had uh, 7 to the 4th squared, that's equal to this 2 times 4. That would be equal to 7 to the 8th power, okay? So anytime you have an outside exponent, you can multiply it by the inside exponents, okay? X, well, it could be either one exponent or multiple exponents. So here, this 4 is going to get multiplied by that 1. So when I do that, I'm going to end up with 2 to the 4th power, right? 4 times 1 is 4. And then this is multiplication. That's going to be x times 4 times 1, which, of course, is x to the 4th. And then here, I can be, I can think of 2 to the 4th. Matter of fact, if you wrote this, this is correct as well. 2 to the 4th is what? Well, if you wanted to get the actual value of that, you want to be thinking about expanded form. That means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is uh, 8. And then 8 times 2 is 16. So that would be 16 x to the fourth. Okay, so let's kind of call this video a wrap. A real world basic introduction to powers and exponents, but this is something you absolutely need to be uh, to know uh, in any level of mathematics, especially algebra. There's quite a bit of things that you need to master in terms of uh, properties of powers and exponents. Now, if you need additional help with this, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel on this topic. But uh, I thoroughly, thoroughly teach this in any one of my algebra uh, courses, okay, starting from pre-algebra, algebra one, and beyond. 
Okay, so if this video helps you out, though, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.